everyone, my name is Debbie and I am a full-time reseller. I mainly sell on eBay and Poshmark and I have been doing so for 16 and a half years and absolutely love it. I am so thankful, especially for days like today. It is snowing outside, the roads are icy and I don't have to go anywhere and I can work from home. So that is one thing that I am so, so grateful for. I went into the bins. I had just a very limited time. I had dropped my daughter Morgan off in an appointment and I had one hour and I thought, hmm, it's like 15 minutes away from the bins. I think I could go make a quick trip. I'll just try to find a couple really good items and not, not think I need to get a lot. Well, that didn't happen. I ended up getting 25 pounds of clothing, four adult shoes and three kids shoes. So it shows you how much you can really get even in a limited time. And what's more, I had exactly 28 minutes, I figured, inside there before I had to be out the door. The line was so long, so I allowed myself 10 minutes to wait in line. So all of this stuff that I got, I got in 18 minutes. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna video it today, and then I had another video that I did like this, and I'll pop that video up here. <laughs> and uh, what I'll do is I will video this, then I'm going to take everything and list it, and then over the next two weeks, if anything sells, I will just pop up the sold listing and you will see if it was something that sold in two weeks or less. So you'll know that is a brand that might sell quickly and it will give you a real idea of not just how much I think it will sell for, but how much it actually sold for. So we will get started now. So the first item was a pair of women's shoes and these are the brand Dingo. Oh, which way do you see it? <laughs> but I picked these up. I wasn't familiar with the brand, but in the last year or so, I have fallen in love with selling any type of Western boot and vintage coats. Those have been my my thing that I've really loved. And this look had a Western look to it. And I looked inside and it said leather upper. So I thought for $2.29, I would definitely give this a chance. I looked up comps after I got home and they look like they, they might do decent. I noticed people are asking a lot more for them than they're actually selling for. I saw listings like $50, $60 on these, but then when I went to see what actually sold, I saw $18, $20, $25. So I'm, I'm thinking $20 might be realistic. Then, these were one of my best buys of the day, I think. I saw they were Vans and they looked a little bit worn, just not terrific. So I actually put them down. And then I went back and decided, you know what, these are Vans, they feel like leather. I think these could be something good. They are a women's size six and guess what? They're a vintage pair of Vans and they actually do really well. I think they could go for around $35 or $40. Then the next item, this one was great too. These are L.L. Bean and they are kind of a clog type shoe. Well, they have a back. I'm going to have to look up. The good thing about reselling, you don't have to know everything. I am not great about brands and styles, but I know how to look things up and I know how to research. And that's what it really takes when you have an item, being able to go through those sold comps and see, you can find out so much information. So you don't have to already know a lot about fashion or styles or materials. I had so little knowledge when I started and I still don't know everything, but I can learn. And that's the great thing about reselling. So these look really nice and I looked up comps already and I think they'll sell for around $25. And all the adult shoes were $2.29. Then two more pair of adult shoes. These are Brooks and I love Brooks. They are not in just the greatest condition on the top, but this is what matters on running shoes is you look at the bottom and see how worn they are. And these do not look very worn at all. I just see just minor right here. So they have a lot of miles left in them and that's what 
runners really care about is how many miles they have on them. The top doesn't matter as much if this is all good. And these look great. Um, so I'll clean them up just a little bit. And I think these might go for like $18 since they have just a little bit of flaws. Um, sometimes if they're in really great condition, $35 or so. Then another pair of running shoes, Saucony Power Grid. And these also, the tread looks really good. So here is, where does it say it? Power grid and then, oh, that's where it says Saucony. Saucony on the bottom and they don't have insole, wait. The bricks did not have insoles, but that's okay because a lot of times renters put in their own custom insoles and so I've sold plenty without the insoles in them. So these, these look good. Um, so maybe 20, $25 on those. And to the little kid shoes, these are so cute. These are little little Crocs and they have all these little, I think they're called like gibbets or something like that in them. And the kids shoes at the Goodwill bins are only $1.29. So I think these will probably sell for maybe $12, $14. And then one more pair. These just kind of stood out. They're Steve Madden. And they have all these emojis all over them. So I thought those were super cute. And for $1.29, even if they only sell for $12 or $15, I think that is a great return on investment. Now we will move on to clothing. The first item I'd like to show you is a pair of American Eagle jeans. And here is the tag. They say super stretch and American Eagle. I love that they have on the inside waistband, the style. These are the high rise crop flare. And I love this exposed button fly. They are a great size. I think they were a 16. Yes, a 16 long. I always find long does well. And they have this, the bottom is cropped and it's distressed. So I think these will do great, probably 20, $22. Then, Thanks to watching YouTube videos, I have heard people saying that Juicy Couture is doing really well, much better if it's a set, like the jacket and the bottoms also, but I found just a pair of velour bottoms and they are jogger style. They have the banded bottom and this, they have this little charm on them and back pockets and they're a size small. So I have not looked the exact comps yet. I just remember watching videos saying to pick these up. So I listened and I picked them up. And so I don't wanna give a wrong amount, but even if I just get $20 for them, I think that's great, but I will run comps so that I am sure to sell it for what they're going for. Then right next to it, was a Juicy Couture shirt. And I don't know that the t-shirts will do as well, but I thought I would pick that up and try it also. This was probably four ounces, so maybe a quarter. So definitely worth the try, even if it only makes $10. That's a great return on investment. At my Goodwill, it is 99 cents a pound. So very, very inexpensive. Then these are really cute. They are American Eagle joggers. They have the, the banded bottom also. It's elastic. And this is the label, size extra small. They have a drawstring and a cute little contrasting pattern on the pockets. So these, I'm guessing, maybe like $15 or so. Really lightweight, less than eight ounces. So they were less than 50 cents. Then, I really like these. I kind of would like to keep these myself. These are Reebok and sweatpants have done great this year. 
and they are a size large, but hmm, I don't know. I'm gonna have to measure these and see. They don't seem like a size large, but they have this cute little plaid stripe down the sides. So I'm guessing maybe $18 or so on those. And this, I thought this looked really nice. It is Lane Bryant. So it is a plus size, which I absolutely love selling plus size. Lane Bryant 26 slash 28W. It's double breasted. It's not wool. I was hoping it was wool. It would sell probably better if it was. It's um, a polyester blend, but it's still really nice condition and a nice quality jacket. And since it is mid-February already, if I want to sell it this year, I'll let it go for more. I could easily sell it right now for probably $25, $30. Or if I want to price it $45, $50 and hold on to it, um, then I, I probably could get more money if I would like to wait on it. So it just, it just depends if you are, if you're wanting to flip things quickly or if you are willing to hold on to them for longer to make more money. So I'll have to make that decision as it comes. Oh, while we're at it, this was my favorite find of the day. And I put it on the mannequin so you could see it better, but I still don't know. I'll pop up a picture after I list it. It has some lint on it, but it is called Miss New Yorker, and it is so pretty. It's a vintage jacket. It buttons down the front, and then it has these slits to have your hands come through, and it has kind of a cape type look, and I just thought this was a really neat jacket. I'll show you the brand. Miss New Yorker, made in USA. When you see things like this, made in USA, or if you see a union tag, that's a good clue that it is vintage. But I just thought this was neat, shoulder pads. <laughs> so um, I will list this probably for $70 and probably take around 50. I'll just have to, to see on that one. It looks in pretty good condition, but it has a lot of lint on it. So that's a neat one. Then the next item is also thanks to all the YouTube videos that I've watched. Thank you, YouTube friends, for sharing what sells well. This is the brand Theory. And Someone was talking about this, that it was a high retail value. So I saw the brand, remembered seeing it on a video. So I picked it up and it looks like I might need to use the, um, the shaver, the sweater shaver on it because it has just a little bit of fuzz on it, but I think it will be fine. And the material content is great. It is 70% cotton and 30% cashmere. So that's definitely a win. So I am excited to have found this brand for the first time. And this one, I might keep, I really like it. It is Zara, oh, it is inside out. And um, some of these I hung up already because I've washed them and I'm trying to keep them from getting too wrinkled. I'll probably have to steam some of them. So this one is Zara Woman. It is a size small and it is just a really neat fit. It's kind of got this wider area up here and then it tapers and it has an angled hem. So I really like this. Maybe this will sell for around $20 or maybe I will keep it. Then the next one I picked up, I've never heard of this brand, but it was 100% silk. It was machine washable. I already stuck it through the wash let it hang to dry, but it is wrinkled, so I'm going to need to figure out how to do that, either steam or iron that. And so I'm, I'm not sure on that one, but if I get $15 or so, then that is great. This one was actually in my last Goodwill haul, but I had washed it and had hung it up to dry because it had a little stain on it, and so I forgot. So I thought I'd just pop it in right now to show you this one. I thought it was really cute. Guess. And it is a size medium. 
and it has this toggle front. It also zips and snaps. So I thought this was a great style hooded and I'm guessing maybe $25 on this one. Then I had such good luck with the Daniel Cremieux cashmere sweater that I sold that I talked about in a previous video that it sold for, I can't remember, like $39 even when I had repaired a hole in it. So when I saw Daniel Cremieux again, I thought I would pick it up. This one just says Cremieux Sport Size Large. This is a Dillard's brand and this is a really nice windbreaker. Oh, it matches me. <laughs> and um, it zips up the front and it also velcros over and then it has a, an area i haven't opened this yet but i am assuming that there is a hood in here so yes so that's a nice feature so i'm guessing maybe 20 25 dollars on this one i couldn't resist picking up a harley shirt especially when it had a usa flag on it so it looked brand new. It still had a, a tag that looked like it was from the manufacturer, like the, the plastic part, but I took that off and because I wanted to wash it. So I, I mean, maybe $12, $15. Then this one I just thought was cute and very perfect for the theme right now. It's Old Navy and sometimes Old Navy can do well with if it's like a cute graphic on it and it says sunny days ahead so I guess maybe like ten dollars for that unless I decide to keep it then this is a, a pretty bralette I love picking up bras and bralettes from the bins because they cost almost nothing they're so lightweight maybe like 15 17 cents and this is the brand wild honey and I've not heard of that brand, but it was pretty and size medium. So I thought I would try it. That's the beauty of the bins. You can take risks and get things that you might not pick up at the regular Goodwill because they're just so inexpensive that it doesn't take selling it for very much money to make a good profit. Normally, I found on the bins, I make at least 10 times my money. If I just have an average day, if I have a really good day, it can be a lot more than that. So that is the fun thing about the bins. Now, it takes me a lot longer when I go to the regular Goodwill. I can maybe stay in there three or four hours because I'm very picky in the regular Goodwill and I will be going next week and I'll try to get some footage. I have to get my tires changed and it's right next to a Goodwill. So I'm going to spend a couple hours in there. Then the next thing is this pair of Nike swim shorts. I have a lot of swimsuits in my Poshmark closet. So I thought I would get these to put in there because maybe someone's shopping for a swimsuit for themselves and they will find this to get for their husband or boyfriend or son or something like that. So it won't bring a lot, maybe $10 or so. Then the next thing, I am always a sucker for plaid. I just love things that are plaid. And these are really long. I, there's a name for these. I just can't remember. I'll have to research and find out because they're longer than Bermuda shorts, but they're shorter than capris or cropped pants. Um, but this is the brand Ghosts and Angels. And it's a size three, so that's a junior size. And it this brand is sold at Hot Topic, so it's not a high retail value, but Due to the style, I thought they were really cute. If I get just even $10 for them, I'm great with that. The next item is J. Jill, and I like selling the brand J. Jill. It usually does well, and I really love the size. It is size 18, and these are a really lightweight denim. They, are, they have cargo pockets, and they're cropped. They have Cute little back so I'm expecting maybe $12, $14 on these. They feel like they weigh about a pound so I probably paid about a dollar for them. Then this one is fun. I like getting just really unique things. This 
oh, I don't know if you can see, I'll have to pop up the picture after I list it, but it is this silky satin type material with this neat design and it just looked pretty retro to me and it was, seemed like it was a pretty big size. Uh, I'll pop that up too, but I just thought this was fun. So I thought I would get this and see how it does. I'm expecting maybe $20. Then, next, I got this cute little girl's dance Leo. This just reminds me of when my little girls <laughs> were little. Well, they're not little girls now, but when my girls were little and I bought this stuff all the time, I didn't want this to go to the landfill, so I picked it up just to save it. I do that. Sometimes just I grab things there just if they make me happy and I don't want to see them go to the landfill when someone could make use of this. So maybe I'll only make six or eight dollars, but I'm happy that I picked that up. Then the next thing is this little Jimboree romper with a cute little pig on the front. And this won't bring a great deal of money either, but it probably costs about 40 cents and I might get $8 and really easy to list and I don't measure the children's clothing and so that's one step less that I have to have. Sometimes people ask for measurements but generally not. So quick and easy, that might sell for $8. Then these, I picked up these Levi's because they looked kind of vintage to me. They were silver tab and they say on them silver tab baggy and um, they just looked different to me than what I normally see. So I thought just in case these are vintage, I'm going to pick these up. And I'm not sure if these are cut off. They, if someone cut them off themselves, they did a really good job because they look really even. But on the tag, see this is really worn away too, which makes me think vintage. Um, they say waist 34, length 34. So, this will be interesting to research and see how it does. And then this one was with that other little kid's clothes and it was just cute. And it had the name Blueberry. And I thought that sounded like Burberry. <laughs> Maybe this is some kind of spinoff line. So I don't know. But even if I just get $6 or if it's not worth anything, I'll just redonate it and then we'll have another chance. And then this one was another one of the little kid ones. Adorable, it's fuzzy, and it has the animal print. It's so soft, and it is, what is that? Truly Scrumptious by Heidi Klum. So I just absolutely love this. It was precious, six months, and really the reason why I picked this up at first, it was far away, and I grabbed it because it was on this cute little hanger, and I don't have any little kid hangers, and so, I wanted the hanger and then I saw the item on it and I was like, wow, that is really cute. I want to sell that. Then the next thing, this is Secret Treasures, which I think is a Walmart brand, but it has cats and dogs all over it. And I think it's a night shirt. So this could be great or it could be nothing. Um, so I'll have to look this up and see. But the other great thing it had about it was size 2X slash 3x so novelty prints can sometimes really do great so we will see on that one or i might only get five dollars for it <laughs> then this was a nice sweater and it is polo ralph lauren men size extra extra large and this is the french rib sweater and that's this really fine ribbing is called French rib. And this is the, the dark blue pony on the chest and just a really nice men's sweater. I think it will go around $30. It's pretty heavy. So it's probably a pound and a half, so probably $1.50. So that's a great return on investment. I wanted to add in that I listed this at 7.51 a.m. and it sold by 9.29 a.m. And 
there was a flaw in it. When I looked really closely, there were two very faint spots on one sleeve. So I just took really good pictures. I circled the spots and drew arrows at it and it still sold in less than two hours. So that's a reminder, if there's a flaw, just always be honest and let the buyer know and usually they still sell. This one I picked up because it was different. I it's a patchwork pattern and um, look at the hood. Isn't that cute? Love that. And it is by a brand that I've never heard of. KPC, and I think it might be a vintage jacket, extra large. And I ran comps really quickly on this one, and it looks like it'll sell for maybe $20 or so. Then I picked up this one because of, I think these are called Spirit Tees, and it says Atlantis Paradise Island. So, Looks nice, looks perfect. I don't see any signs of wear. So I thought I would try that one out. It might go for $12, $15. And that, oh, no, I have a hat. I got one hat and the hats there go in with the clothing by the pound, so extremely lightweight. I put this on my mannequin that I bought on eBay and absolutely love. It is Nike, it has this Bulldog on the front, so I think that is a football team, maybe Georgia Bulldogs, I'm not sure. <laughs> and it is, has this Legacy Dry Fit, and Nike caps do very well for me. They, they always sell great, so I thought I would pick this one up because it's in excellent condition, and that is everything, so hopefully, during these two weeks, I have sold some of the things and have information to pop up so you can sell, see what sold and how quickly it sold. It is two weeks later and my gross sales are $140.33. After platform fees and postage costs, the money back in my bank is $93.70. So if you take out my cost of goods, I'm already in the profit $52.67. And that is with just selling six out of the 35 items so far. So I've already put in all the work for all the other items and now I just wait for them to sell. I will update you later in a month or two when I've seen a lot more sales and let you know how much profit I am at. Thank you again and good luck on your reselling journey. Bye.